Hi guys, it's TV. I'm back for another update. So I decided to incorporate a vaginal steam bath into this cycle. So I figured that I would show you all an easy way to do it at home. Home. All right, so um, just doing research as far as like you can go to a salon to do a, a vaginal steam bath or vaginal V steam, but JJ like simply Tanika would say hoo ha, pocketbook, kitty cat, whatever you want to call it, you can steam it. So you can go to a salon. Um, and when I was looking, price range per session can be from $75 to $125. So I think that is a little bit expensive to go to a salon to get your hoo-ha or the JJ steamed. Um, so I figured that I would just do it at home. You guys know that I have a potion lady and my potion lady be giving me potions and stuff. Um, she did ask me a while ago if I've ever done a, a V steam and I told her no. So I think she did want me to do it. Um, she actually mentioned me doing a, a coffee, I don't know what it's called, but basically you insert coffee into your vajayjay. Um, when she told me that, I uh, decided to table that. I don't know how I feel right now about putting coffee up there, but I did do research about it and there are women that, um, do it. I forgot the exact name, but I'll link an article. Um, that I found about it and some women live by it but for me at this point I told her let's table the the coffee for now um, so I could have gotten the V steam from my potion lady but um, I live close to CNY I live like 15 minutes from CNY and my potion lady is in New York City so I only see her when I go to New York City so I just figured it would be easier for me to pick it up from CNY so Total cost for me for this DIY project was $23. I'm actually sitting on a portable commode right now because this is where I did my V steam on. Um, this was free 99. I got it for free. Um, this is by Drive um, and it's portable. It's really easy and lightweight. Um, big quick background. Um, my mom had colon cancer, so towards the end of her journey with cancer, uh, my dad wanted to make everything as easy and accessible for her as possible, so he bought her this, um, this portable commode, um, but she had a colostomy bag and a frostomy tube, so she didn't use this at all, so it, just, it was just sitting in their basement, and um, yeah, so... And then he bought it, but he couldn't return it. So it was just sitting there. So I asked my dad, I was like, hey, can I take it? And he was like, please, like, just take it. So this for me was free, um, but you can buy, purchase one of these if you wanted to. If not, um, this lady in my yoga class, she actually said that she does her beast team. She said she, put a, she puts a pot in her toilet. And I was like, okay, okay, that works. That, that absolutely works. Uh, for me, I was like, this is going to work for me. It comes with this, um, this, uh, thing that you put under the bottom here. So this you can get from like Rite Aid, CVS, Walgreens. They do sell these in the incontinent section. However, if you don't want to invest in something like this, um, they, they do have something similar to this that you put in your toilet. So you don't have to put a pot. In your toilet <laughs> you can put something similar to this that they sell so you could just I think it's a little bit wider so it fits um, it fits on the toilet so you could use something similar to this so yeah don't don't put a pot in your toilet that's just me so, so like I said instead of doing paying 75 to 125 dollars per session I'm doing this for 23 dollars and all right so I got it from CNY and it came in a bag like this um, so this is, uh, you could do three baths, steam baths with this one, um, packet. Okay. And they also, again, I, um, I went and I got it and then it comes with the instruction as well. So I'll put a link to this article from their site. I'll put this down below. Um, I'm not sure if all of the CNY locations like where I live, they had, a, they had, it's called the Fertile Ground Cafe. So you could pick up tea, 
Um, you can pick up the steam baths. Um, you know, Dr. K, he lives by the keto diet, so you could buy um, keto snacks. Um, you could buy essential oils. It's kind of like a one-stop shop. You know, I talk about it all the time. I'll go there for yoga. I go there for my acupuncture and my massages. So I got this from CNY. Like I said, I could have got it. I could have gotten it from my potion lady, but I just got it from CNY. I have seen people sell these on Instagram, and usually when people like request me, like I do tend to block them because I don't know, like I'm not. Me personally, I'm not going to buy something that I am putting on my up or near or around my vagina. I'm not purchasing that, purchasing that from Instagram. So I'm not sure if there's an herbal shop that you can go to um, or if CNY or if uh, maybe if you research it, if they can send it to you, if you can purchase it online or if you can just go to an herbal shop and buy the ingredients to do it yourself. So. I'm not sure, but um, so before before I get started, so I haven't said my disclaimer in a while, so I'm just gonna put this out here. I am not an LPN, an RN, a nurse practitioner, a physician assistant, a physician. I'm not even a CNA. I don't work in a hospital. I am just infertile, and I am sharing with you all my journey and what I go through. So. Please don't say TZ told me to do this. TZ didn't tell you anything. TZ is just telling you what TZ did. So I'm just putting that out there. I am not in the medical profession at all. All right. So I'm not going to read all of this, but I'm just going to read a few things. Um, so it says the baths can safely be combined with either natural cycles or any cycles involving assisted reproductive technology, such as IUI or IVF. Consider adding vaginal steam baths to your self-care routine if you experience painful periods, uh, dark blood at the beginning or ending of your menstrual cycle, irregular periods, fibroids, cysts, endometriosis, um, cervical stenosis, vaginal dryness, or painful in intercourse. So when specifically to do a steam? So if you are doing a, nit a natural cycle, uh, it says steam once within the within a few days after your period and then once just before ovulation but before intercourse. It says we don't want to heat up the sperm. Um, you also can do it with a clomid, a clomid cycle. So it says once um, steam once when you first start your clomid medication and then once just before ovulation but before intercourse or IUI. It says a side effect of clomid may be a decrease in cervical mucus. The steam will help increase mucus. If you are doing an injectable IUI cycle, it says steam once when you first begin your stimulation drug and then once in the morning before your IUI procedure. Uh, steaming before your IUI procedure helps to liquefy the cervical mucus and creates a lubricated path for the insertion of the catheter through the cervix. If you are doing an IVF cycle, it says steam once when you first begin your stimulation drug and then once in the morning before your transfer. Steaming before your transfer procedure helps you helps to create a lubricated path for the insert, insertion of the catheter through the cervix. And then if you are doing a donor egg cycle, it says steam once uh, while your donor is stimulating and then once in the morning before your transfer. So that's when they recommend to do a vaginal bath steam. So like I said, I'll um, link this information um, down below. So as far as instruction, uh, so it says obtain vaginal steam bath herbs from CNY Healing Arts. Uh, the contents of one bag of herbs is enough for two to three vaginal steam baths. So like I said, it comes in this little bag here and then it just says vaginal steam bath let's see come on focus it says vaginal steam bath on here it just lists um it says who was formulated who who formulated this and it says traditionally and used in central america the bajo is a uterine lavage used to support female re reproductive health ingredients so it says it may contain some of the following uh, basil calendula lavender oregano yarrow and lemon balm so again if you are near like our herbal herbal shop then I'm pretty sure that you can um, 
make it yourself you may be able to find a um a recipe online to uh to make this and then again on the front it says batch team and then like i said it, the cost of this was 23 dollars it smells like tea it smells like actually that the womb cleanse that i did it smells like that um what i actually ingested um that was real nasty. that stuff didn't taste good but just to show you guys so if i can focus so i just took some out so this is some of the um i don't know what these are but this is some of the stuff that is in the bag and then so yeah this is um so you can see it this is what it looks like so yeah so that's what it looks like um i should be able to post a picture or video somewhere up here um of the process i didn't actually video tape myself or record myself doing the vaginal steam but as far as prepping it i did record that portion so it says in a large pot containing about a gallon of water place the herbs um place in the herbs and then Bring to a soft boil for about five minutes, then steep for ten minutes with the lid on, and then offer prayer. So I so I just poured a, a poured water from the faucet into an empty um, gallon water bottle, and then I just to measure it out, and then I put it in a pot, and then like I said, I posted um, and then I put the herbs in there. Um, I didn't offer prayer at that point. I actually offered prayer while I was sitting on it. <laughs> I offered prayer there because I kind of I forgot. So, um, soft boil, and then it, say, it says, place the pot of water or herbs under a slated chair, lawn chair, or even your toilet. Sit over the pot um, without underwear. Be careful to make sure the water or herbs have cooled enough so that you don't burn yourself. So, um, in the video, like I said, I took the pot and then um, I did let it steep for more than... 10 minutes so i was setting up I actually put this in the basement um i could have put it in this room this is an empty room so if you hear an echo it's an empty room in our house this is going to be i'm claiming it this is going to be my nursery and it's already pink so i'm claiming it i'm putting it out there that this is going to be my nursery not hopefully not uh it this is going to be my nursery but i did end up i ended up doing it in the basement um so like i said i, I ended up transferring the um the um the contents of the steam bath i put it into this so like i said this came with um this uh commode and then um so you just lift this up for the most part lift it and then you put it here and then sit down and then I sat down. So, so let me tell. So, the first time when I put it down, so like I said, I let it steep for about 15 minutes until I got everything set up. And then I poured the contents into the um, the bucket and then I put it on. And I think that's when I turned the camera off. And then that's when I kind of got everything ready to sit on the um to sit on the chair so when i sat down on the chair for the first time like i sat down sat there for like two seconds and then like i jumped up like you know like the cartoon characters <laughs> like that jump up or whatever like because it was way too hot like i thought that by letting it sit for a minute or a minute um, a few minutes longer that it was going to be okay but um at first you know when you first sit down you, you feel the steam but then it gets really hot so I jumped up and I was like, it's too warm. So I was like, let me just let it cool down. So then I did let it cool down. And then um, I tried it again. And then it felt good. But then when I put the blanket around me, that's when everything starts marinating and it starts heating up again. So I was like, jumped up again. I was like, this is way too hot. So I was like, well, let me just put my finger in there to feel it, to see how, um, how hot it was. So just a rule of thumb if you put your finger in the pot and it's too warm like you have to take your your hand or your finger out of the pot it's too hot for your vajayjay so just let it cool down um 
And then like I said, because once you put put the blanket over you, it's gonna steam everything back, it's gonna steam everything up down there. So it's gonna get warmer. So just let it wait, just let it, I would say maybe after you let it steep for 10 minutes, then maybe like another 15 minutes, I would say with the lid off to let it, um, to let it cool down. So that I had, this is actually an electric blanket that was just in my, uh, that was in the closet over there. So basically, you want to wrap yourself up, I think it was like a queen size uh, comforter that I have in the basement. So I took it and I wrapped it all the way around like this. So that way there was no air seeping out and then again once this is on there that's when everything down there gets marinating and then it warms up a lot so um so like i said definitely make sure that you let it cool down before you put your JJ on the seat but i just let it sit here so like i said um you can do it on the toilet I, you can do it on the toilet like I said I would recommend to get I don't know if it's called like a um, a bedside pan or a toilet commode I'm not sure what they call it but like I said if you don't want to invest in something like this you can get that little um, like the bucket you can purchase that from um, from a, a pharmacy to put that into the toilet and then like I said you can just cover yourself with a blanket but I like this because I can cover it all the way around this seat so no air is seeping out um, I did it in the basement. I was fine in the basement, um, but I decided to bring this chair up here. Um, I'm, I'm home alone right now, and I don't know. I just felt creeped out sitting in the basement recording by myself. But when I did the V steam, I was uh, my, like everybody was home, so I don't know. But I just didn't want to record downstairs in the basement for some reason. Um, so yeah, I just sat downstairs. So you want to um, let the vaginal steam occur for. 20 minutes and then uh while i was doing it i actually had my ipad i was watching netflix um what is it called i'm a killer i think it's called i'm a killer which is a random combination i'm watching i'm a killer on netflix and then doing a vaginal scene but it worked for me it made the time go by i love that i'm fascinated with stuff like that with those shows so for me it just made the time go by faster um so yeah and then actually like once it once it started to cool down a little bit more it felt more comfortable because at first like i said there were a few times i had to like kind of i'm just doing this just to kind of because i would feel it in certain spots and like on my thighs it started getting really warm so uh, once it started cooling down that's when i was just i'm just sitting on here and I'm ha i had my ipad watching my netflix and it was quite comfortable. Um, I definitely enjoyed it afterwards. I, it doesn't say whether to take a shower or not, but I actually took a shower after because just sitting on here, you do get sweaty um, and stuff. So after, just to cool down, and I just I did take a shower afterwards. But then overall experience, like I felt really clean down there. It felt all warm and cozy down there. <laughs> I don't know. I liked it. I'm definitely going to keep doing it throughout my cycle um, per the instructions. So and this is something that I did incorporate. So like I said, total for this for me was $23. If you don't have um, the commode, the, the um, portable commode, then like I said, you can use your toilet. But I do recommend not to put a pot in your toilet to put... Um, uh, to buy a bucket or something of that nature that fits in your toilet and then um, Like I said, uh, you can try a herbal shop They may have them if you are close to or check to see if um, you know Wherever you are going for your fertility treatment see if they have these as well um, Or see if you can make them they may have some uh, recipes online um, So yeah overall experience it was it was really um it was really soothing and like i felt really relaxed my body felt relaxed i felt um down there like i said it just felt all more like warm and cozy and stuff so i liked it um so that's it i do know a few women reached out to me about um tea for unblocking fallopian tubes i did reach out to my potion lady <laughs> i really need to stop calling her a potion lady she is not a, poor, a potion lady um but she is my potion lady but i did reach out to her i haven't heard back from her yet but once i do um like i said i'm not sure she has anything or she could recommend anything but when she does i will let you all know um and that's it so if you have any more questions about 
the vaginal steam bath, the JJ steam, hoo-ha steam, pocketbook steam, whatever you, kitty cat steam, whatever you want to call it. Um, feel, feel free to ask me any questions. Um, but yeah, that's it. So that is all that I have for you guys for today. So I will see you guys in my next journal entry and I'm wishing you all the best in your journeys. And um, yeah, so that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys.